if you had to hire a sales manager from scratch, what are the qualities you're going to look for and how you're going to locate those people? It's hard to find because they have good analytical skills as well as creative skills. So they're creative thinkers who are typically intuitive enough to assess very quickly. A lot of coaching sellers uh, happens on the fly. And, you know, unfortunately, we've never had great analytics on the activities of salespeople, especially for outside sellers. I'm very much 100% behind gaining analytics on activities. You know, if we sell wine and we knock on doors to do wine tastings at nine in the morning, do we get more sales from Italian restaurants than if we do tastings at five in the afternoon? And if we sell uh, macaroni and cheese, you know, do we get better traction in uh, certain types of, of restaurants than others? Do we get better traction uh, presenting a certain product before another product? But also the span of capabilities with sellers. In the wine example, I worked with a company where, you know, maybe 4% of the team was doing 90, 95% of all the business. The capability is there. It's humanly possible. Y yet everyone else was a laggard. There was almost no in between. And, you know, there was definitely a team issue around us and them within the company. And the sales managers had been ineffective because they were unwilling, A, because they weren't confident and didn't have the tools to confront the top people and get with them enough to understand what was making them successful and how could their successful behaviors and styles and, and positions be recreated with the rest of the team. So a lot of that's about culture too.